If you've been following along with some of the recent trends in the design world, you've probably seen some images uh, created with artificial intelligence uh, with something called Midjourney. Now, this is one of the options out there for working with artificial intelligence to create images. Uh, the images are really quite varied. You can see a mashup of different styles, uh, techniques, and uh, these images are created with text prompts that sort of guide the artificial intelligence in its creation. You can join Midjourney through their website. Uh, you can join the beta. I believe now it's, it's open to the public. It used to be um, only through an invite. The way they use uh, Midjourney is actually through Discord, which is a messaging app. Um, it might be a little bit counterintuitive to some, so I wanted to walk through the process and just an overview of, uh, of what it looks like. So here I am just scrolling through Discord. I'm actually uh, in a section where other people have uh, posted their work. Um, the way that you'll start using is by using this prompt. You'll do slash imagine, and then you'll write basically uh, the description of uh, the text prompt that you want um, Midjourney to uh, execute. So Midjourney will look at these words that you've put in and then try to build something um, using those words. Uh, and you can guide it with, you know, subject matter, style. Um, you can you can actually change the the size, the aspect ratio, and and things like that. So. Um, You'll do that. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, it's going to generate sort of four thumbnails for you. Uh, and uh, from there, you can kind of uh, maybe go deeper on some. You can make uh, them larger so you can see them in more detail because they're kind of um, low res when you look at them. Um, but through this process, you can start really refining uh, and iterating. What's nice is that you do get these variations and you get to see how Midjourney is interpreting the text that you give it. Uh, and so once it's finished uh, with the execution, um, uh, you can see these uh, different squares underneath. Now the U stands for up, uh, upscaling and the V stands for um, variation. So you can choose which one to uh, which ones to uh, create variations of. Uh, numbers go from left to right and then top to bottom. So if you hit U3, it will upscale the third ver uh, uh, image in the sequence. And based off of the results, um, you can really start to making uh, variations and go in different directions. Uh, and all of your uh, versions, uh, your explorations will be saved so you can go back and, and revisit them later. Um, and if you want to upscale some, or if you want to, uh, like I said, just go, go deeper in some of them, uh, that's an option. And you can view some of these images as they're being created. Uh, they're still gonna be a little bit blurry or low res, uh, but as, um, as they finish up, you'll see a little bit more detail. Um, you know, some of them are, I think are still going to have these weird artifacts and, and bits and pieces that, uh, feel a little bit off because it's artificial intelligence. And I find those things actually kind of interesting, but I think just the range of images and the speed at which this creates images, uh, is really fascinating to me. Um, I think this is really going to change the way that you know we we work so these are some of the images that i created when i first got started with this um you can see some of the different explorations um giving different prompts and getting different results and like i said uh all of your images that you make are kind of uh collected and you can revisit them um this is on the midjourney site when you log in uh you can actually see what you've created and go back um, and uh, this is the desktop version so um, this might be a little bit easier to work on sometimes and you can grab stuff and download it to your computer uh, but um, one thing I do like about Midjourney is that since it's on Discord you can be using it on your phone when you're just waiting um, and and just relaxing uh, you don't have to be at your computer but um, this interface is a little bit nicer I think when you're trying to curate images and try to figure out which direction to go in. Um, so uh, again, this is just a quick introduction to Midjourney. Uh, I think it's, it's really powerful and I'm really curious to see uh, what people do with this.